In this video I'm going to be giving you the number one carbon plated running shoe you can buy for under £80. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. Now, we've had one end of the spectrum recently on the channel with the £280 Socony Endorphin Elite. And I thought, you know what, that's a lot of money for a running shoe. Why don't we try and take it back? and try and find the best carbon plated running shoe for under 100 pounds. But I actually went one step further. I actually found one that was under 80 pounds. Now the price of running shoes at the moment is mental. Now the, I'm not talking just carbon plated shoes, you know, where you've got 280 quid's worth of shoe here. I'm talking every single shoe out there at the moment it seems to be 100 and something, 160 pounds. That's what I was just looking what I've got around me. But we've got 160 pounds of the Hyperion Max. You've got 220 pounds for the Super Blast from ASICS. You've got 170 pounds for the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. Shoe prices have gone mental. Now that doesn't help because there's a cost of living crisis and none of us have got any money to like power our own houses, let alone pay for running shoes. So after I did that video uh, on the Socket Endorphin Elite, it did make me think to myself, you know what, I need to help the people out. Let's try and give them a shoe, or a couple of shoes, uh, under £100 that could offer some value. But I actually found one, and it was a carbon plated shoe, because I wanted actually to focus in the end on the carbon plated shoes. Why? Because maybe you want to go and get a carbon plated shoe, because you've heard all about it, how awesome they are, but you can't afford it. So I've tried to um, yeah, hunt about on the internet and things like that. And as I said, I found one shoe for under £80. Now that shoe is this. The Puma DV8 Nitro Elite. Now version 2 is just coming out of this shoe, right? And this is version 1. And I picked this shoe up for under £80. Yep, bought it out of my own money uh, to prove it. Uh, I used uh, the code 40 runs at Start Fitness and I got this shoe for under 80 pounds. Now, this would be my third pair of these. Yes, third pair. The first pair I absolutely ruined. The second pair are in the garage and they are basically ruined. And the third pair are here and they're brand spanking new and they're nice. Um, so I'll be wearing these mainly to like part run and stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to putting them back on again because I absolutely love this shoe. And when I saw it for under 80 pounds, I thought, this has got to be the shoe I need to tell you about because this is a fantastic shoe, people. It is back to basics, carbon platedness at its best. Right, so let's let's just talk about stats and features. What have we got? Well, we've got the Nitro Foam. We've got the not sorry, the Nitro Elite Foam. And then running through the shoe, we've got the um, Inno Plate. See it in there? Calm infused uh, Inno Plate from Puma. We've got Puma Grip, so it lasts for about 10 million years. Uh, the only issue I've had with the shoe is the fact that I've ruined them in terms of coloration and, and the upper and all that sort of stuff. The pair I've got of these downstairs are actually brown, they're disgusting. We've got a mono mesh upper on it, it's so breathable, it's unbelievable. Uh, it fits true to size, we've got this taping across the midfoot to help with the lockdown. Uh, we've got a gusseted tongue on the shoe. We've got not much padding in the heel, so you've got to be wary of um, heel slippage, but I don't have a problem with that in this shoe at all. There's enough padding in the around the heel area to lock it down. I've had no issues in terms of heel slip, uh, but I know some people who have. Um, but yeah, the, the shoe is just phenomenal. In terms of weight, let's just quickly weigh it. 210 grams, yeah, 210 grams, UK nine and a half for me. Um, yeah, so it's lightweight, it's got a carbon plate, it's under 80 pounds, it's breathable, uh, and it makes you feel awesome. So that's it in terms of uh, stats and features, but let's get into, yeah, why it makes you feel awesome. When you add the Nitro Elite foam with the Inno plate, the carbon infused plate that runs all the way through it, it just makes you feel fast. This is not a shoe that I would say go and run a marathon, but you could probably do it. But you could easily, because I've done it, run a quick half in this shoe. You could easily run a quick 10K in this shoe, because I've done it. You could easily bust out a quick 5K or part run. I've done it. It is a fast shoe. I remember when we did a Stevenage part run, and I was doing about, I think I was 21 minutes and something, which is pushing along for me, okay? Uh, and I was in these, and it was uh, greasy conditions. Uh, it was a little bit slippery. Some of that you have to do a little bit off of um, uh, off a of tarmac. 
and because of the Puma grip, it held it up really nice. But the shoe just feels great over that 5K distance as well. But then as you move through your distances, it continues to keep that pace and give you that confidence to run fast in it. And that's why I really like the shoe, and that's why I want to recommend it. At under £80, you've got the rigidity of a plate to give you that propulsion with a really, you know, high return midsole, with a great outsole, a nice fitting breathable upper, there's no, and it's lightweight, there's nothing here that doesn't make you feel awesome. And that's why I wanted to make the video about the shoe because I found it at under 80 pounds. So it said it was 85 pounds, I used the Code 40 runs, I got it for under 80 pounds, um, and, it, and it would do everything that you need to do if you wanted a carbon plated shoe for sort of your race day. Now the only thing is with this, there is one caveat, is it's in limitation, uh, it's limited, sorry, in terms of supply. There's only a limited number of shoes now out there. I think people have cottoned on to what I've cottoned on to, and you can pick this shoe up really cheap. So my advice to you is, is if you've got the money, once you've stopped watching this video, go to someone like Start Fitness, and I don't get paid by Start Fitness, all right? So they send me shoes and whatnot, but I pay for these myself. Um, you, get, you, you can just go over there and get the discount on whatever you want. But um, go to somewhere like Start Fitness or wherever you can get the shoe cheap and pick them up. Even if you can get it at under 90 pounds, I still think it's an absolute steal. So my question now to you, if you guys have made it to the end of this short video, is, is there another shoe you can think of that is offering this much value? You've got so much power in your pocket with this shoe, with the plate and everything that's going on here. Lightweight, nitro elite foam, it's just gonna go for it every single time. But under 100 pounds, is there, is there a shoe that gives you more pound, um, you know, pound for your buck, was it? I don't know what the term is, but you know what I mean. Um, is there a shoe that's going to give you better value and run you as quick as this will? Let me know in the comments. That's what I'm interested to know because at the moment, I don't think you can get better, let's say, for under £80 here in the UK than this.